Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 40. Let's start a twinkle break here. Okay, I just woke up, literally. I'm still a little bit tired out of it and stuff, but I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this out. And a little bit of my cuts on parade. So, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 40 and 3, 2, hold on, stupid mouse, take 2. And 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. <laughs> I forgot her. the fact is that her dad took a picture of her. Mm. <laughs> it was freaking 6 o'clock at night. If I, I don't even know how long I went. I went to sleep around like 3. So I slept for like 3 hours. Oh my god. I was just like, oh my god. I woke up and I was like, oh. I was like, oh my god, I was like, I gotta get this stuff done, and I was like, oh crap, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get both out today. So I'm gonna try my best to get both episodes of I Cut to and Pretty Cure out, but I think I'm just really gonna have to be able to worry about, like, Pretty Cure coming out today, and then I Cut to coming out, like, early, maybe morning, afternoon, probably, like, 12 o'clock tomorrow after, um, Horizon, maybe? It's going to be a day. Don't know when, but it's going to be a day when pretty hair movies are going to be able to come to America, and I'm going to be able to watch them. And it's going to be the greatest day of my life. Besides when I went to go see Sora online and any other Japanese movie in theaters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or if I ever go to Tokyo, I'm going to go see it without subtitles, and I don't care. <laughs> I will want to see it. Yeah, her dad. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, props have to be like that, right? No. You know, Madoka's bad. You shouldn't put your nose into business that isn't really, really doesn't concern you because then something bad might happen to you. I'm not saying nothing bad's gonna happen to her dad, but come on, think about this. Hmm? Yeah. 
Isn't it a little wrong for him to possibly interrogate students like this? I'm just saying. Isn't there, there? There has to be. I mean, come on, right? For a child, you know, don't talk to strangers just like that. But, you know, they're not really going to talk about that. Exactly did he say to him? Mm -mm. I'm not gonna do that. She's being segregated, and this is a fair. And of course, one by one, you all opened your mouth, and yeah. No.
flight. The spaceship. <laughs> and see, that's why y'all ain't here. The freaking bell and the announcement. School is over. Go home. Get your butt home. And of course, Mother Pins Dad will be there as well. Remember, you can't let anyone else know that you're pretty here. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, number one, it was bound to happen to the point that, yes, they were going to have to transform in front of them. Pre I mean, a uh, freaking Go Princess did it. I think Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mo did it. Hug it ain't do it. So, I mean, it, it kind of, you had to figure, yeah, it makes the most sense. It literally does. In a weird way, I'm glad it happened. Also, it's still weird. Whoever, somebody came up in my, one of my videos and says, Elena is in one of my favorite animes. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so I had to rewatch that episode and all I can kind of now hear with that character is Elena's voice a teeny tiny bit. She doesn't really, her range is different, especially when she plays the other character. But it's like, She's playing more of a kidsy character. I think this is going to be one of them episodes where it's like, um, you have to have the power of the audience who's there with you, essentially everybody else is still there, to like necessarily help. I mean, 
Wait, did you not hear what she said? This boy. This man boy. I kind of figured that was going to happen one day, too. So, mm. Well, yeah, Madoka, you will have a lot of things to explain to your father when he wakes up. So that should be two, three, no, three, two left. Because we know Elena didn't get hers and Medica still needs to get hers. You know, if this series does not end with a longer hair lala, like, girl, <laughs> mm -mm. I'm so upset. Cause she looks pretty hair with long hair. Like, I love her with her short hair. My baby. Like, come on. It's my gumbare audio from <laughs> <laughs> Which I still cannot believe that it's the same voice actress, but it's so good. And she's such a good baby in this series. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to 
to cry again. Oh my god. <laughs> so freaking cute oh my god i'm happy for her i swear to god if this episode would have ended really horrible for her and it would if it did then it would have been a two-parter and i think that would have been really nice for her because then what they could have done if it was a two-parter was to just go back into her memories and stuff i mean essentially they did do that but not as much as i thought they were going to be but like oh my god between this episode for lala and last week's episode on elena and everything that that happened. I mean, that really, both of those episodes, the, both of these episodes, um, for, like, segregation, racism in a way, they did really good jobs on them, and I'm really proud of them for doing these two episodes, especially because these are things that they're still talked about till this day, but I think because of the fact is, like, in this day and light, and I did have a conversation with my mom about this, like, last week. Um, it really came up during one of, like, um, these TV shows that I watched, like, celebrity, uh, news endorsement TV shows and stuff. And they were talking about how, like, some of the Disney movies do have a lot of, like, racism and everything in it. And they were going to either, they asked if they wanted it taken out from Disney Plus, or they wanted, like, a little, like, message at the beginning. And so a lot of people said it's important and I agree on this, too, that they should be able to talk about that stuff and still put it in, like, movies and everything, especially if it's something from, like, where I was a kid, you was a kid, and something that the newer generation needs to learn about. Okay, this could be the episode where Monica's gonna get her. It seems like that. And I'm guessing her parents are forcing her to go to one school, but she wants to go to another school. Okay, so continuing on this, uh, what I was talking about a couple minutes before. Um, I, even till today, still think it's good that kids who are now growing up need to know about what all happened in the past. It shouldn't matter, like, what color you are or race you are. Everybody has something of different amounts of history. And so it's good that you have animes like this, a couple others that I've seen, maybe even some cartoons, um, some uh, sitcoms, some comedies, any type of TV show that usually is coming out right now. You may see a little bit of the segregation racism card or something really pulling because it's like, if you look at today's standards, it is talked about, but when you have a children or a child coming up, they usually typically like to shield the children out of the way. And it's like, okay, kids shouldn't really know about this because some adults think it's not important for kids to know. But then it's like, okay, here, think about this real quick. If they're not going to learn from whether it's their actual parents or their grandparents, they're go what's the next place they're going to find, like, find stuff on it? the internet and so i mean there are some people who are going to teach them the right way of it and the wrong way of it and you never really truly know what's going to happen the things that are happening out here whether you live in america or you live in um chile you live in uh hong kong london or really england in general japan anywhere you know something of certain things that are happening in different parts of the world today. And it's good that you know that. I mean, there's some people who I've met, whether, despite, like, wherever I've lived in America, or even, well, I've never been outside of the United States. I would love to. But they are still informative on every little freaking thing that happens in, like, their country or even outside of the world even today. There's some people who are, and, you know, that's okay, but I think, like, some people, because I did see, like, a lot of people say, well, it's really important that you still need to know things that are happening outside of wherever you live. Because 
you never know what could truly happen and the next thing you know something bad happens and then it's on the news and stuff but it's just really important to know your surroundings and everything but it was still both of these episodes went into really interesting topics that yes a lot of people get a little uncomfortable talking about but it's something that's important to really everyone in the world today and that it needs like bold underline escalation point capitalize all the words needs to be talked about and i'm really glad that both the pre here and so many other shows that i've seen are doing the right thing and showing this to kids because as i said if kids weren't going to be able to see it on television and everything and if their parents are going to be able to tell them their grandparents are afraid to tell them the internet is their only truly option to see something like that but yeah both episodes were good i love them a lot i cannot wait to see madoka and hopefully she gets her trickle imagination i did hear elena is getting hers i think episode 42 so i mean hopefully it's gonna be really weird to go back saturday and hearing her on my hero academia and stuff is um one of my other best girls so yeah i cannot wait other than that guys that is my reaction review choice episode 40 of star trickle pretty here if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day during the match squad and of course i will see you guys special on next monday for episode 41 bye guys Thank you.